Hello, I'm Dr. Lucas Zatoka, and I work in public health for the Department of Health. Today, I'm on Gunawal Daura, on Gunawal Country, and we're going to talk about preventative health measures. We're going to talk about uh, heart health checks, we're going to talk about how to prevent um, silent chronic conditions, and some lifestyle, pretty obvious, um, lifestyle changes that people can do to reduce the risk of chronic disease. First of all, um, what is a heart health check and how can I get one? Um, so heart health checks are just a type of check um, that you can get from your general practitioner, from your GP, um, and uh, assess your risk of heart attack or stroke. Um, every four minutes, um, someone in Australia gets a heart attack or a stroke, so it's important that we are aware of what our risk are uh, what a risk is and what we can do to reduce it. Um, heart health checks um, are covered by Medicare, um, so they're free uh, if uh, in bulk billing clinics uh, for general population 45 years and over and for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people 30 years and over. So it's a good idea to talk to your GP, your primary care nurse or your Aboriginal health practitioner about whether a heart health check is a good idea um, for you and they're recommended annually for those age groups. It's a 20 minute check, it's a conversation with your GP, and they also take um, your blood pressure, uh, they check your cholesterol and blood sugar levels through tests, and that helps inform an overall uh, picture of your risk uh, from heart related conditions. Um, based on that, the GP will be able to provide you some advice um, on what you need to do, whether it's medication or modifying diet or other things, or whether you're actually fine and you don't need to change anything you're doing. Uh, it varies from person to person and of course health advice is individual. So the best thing that you can do is talk to your primary care provider, um, your GP, your nurse, your Aboriginal health practitioner and discuss the option of a health check because it might help you um, understand and be aware of um, some risk factors that might be um, silent, um, like impaired renal function. Um, which takes us to a second point today, which is uh, kidney health checks and other silent um, chronic condition markers. Um, our kidneys are very important um, and, uh, of, and, and are impacted by um, our overall um, health, our blood pressure, um, our diet. Um, often people are unaware that their kidney function is impaired, that their kidneys are not working um, as well as they could um, until things get really bad. So. If you have risk factors from, um, for kidney disease, um, such as high blood pressure, you're older, um, or you're a smoker or have a history of kidney disease in your family, again, talk to your GP or your nurse or your health practitioner uh, to consider doing a kidney health check, which normally involves a blood test, a urine test, and a blood pressure test uh, that will help ascertain what your renal function, how well your kidney is uh, doing its, its, its jam, which is, among other things is to um, filter uh, your blood uh, from, from um, toxic substances and um, other things. Um, and then again, provide advice on what things you can do to reduce your risk of progressing towards um, kidney disease or to actually tell you that your kidneys are fine and what you're doing is fine. Um, in terms of what kind of things um, people may be doing to reduce the risk of heart disease, kidney disease and others, um, you've heard this a million times, just the usual um, things about maintaining good health. Um, consider quitting smoking, which is still a major driver of heart disease, um, kidney disease, high blood pressure and general uh, disease of the blood vessels like the, like the arteries. Um, there are many, many ways uh, to support you quit smoking. Um, you can call quit line on 13 quit. Uh, you can get um, medical support through your general practitioner that's also supported um, through Medicare. Uh, so just have a chat with your regular healthcare provider if you're interested in quitting smoking to see what options you have. Um, and then if you can, continue to practice physical activity, reduce your alcohol intake. Um, their guidelines recommend no more than four standard drinks in one sitting and no more than 10 standard drinks in a week. And remember, um, a schooner of full strength beer is not a standard drink. It's between 1.4 and 1.6. So have a look at what a standard drink um, is, but the general advice is less alcohol, better. Um, healthy diet, if possible, a balanced diet. It doesn't mean uh, you have to uh, necessarily exclude all groups, but a, a healthy diet in general is, uh, is a good idea. Uh, try to maintain healthy weight, I'm fully aware that there's many conditions that are and many factors that impact on that, and keep uh, good sleep. Um, and maintaining a healthy blood pressure, which you can actually 
a check as part of that heart health check with your provider or at a pharmacy or at other provider um, is a good thing that you can do, as well as maintaining good cholesterol levels, which your diet and other factors impact into. Um, overall, anything you do that helps you maintain a healthy lifestyle, healthy diet, noting that people's circumstances are very different and it's very hard for, for a lot of people in their context um, to fulfill all those, um, all those elements um, helps. So even if you can do a few things of those is a good idea, but ultimately talk to your GP, talk to your health provider, um, and they can look at a personalized plan for your particular circumstances that can help you um, stay healthy and prevent uh, chronic disease. That's all for today. Thank you.